He was a sensational surfer. But that's all I could find out about him. Which was all right with me, because I wasn't the least bit curious. Been surfing long? All my life. Gee, I didn't know anybody had been surfing that long. <laughs> How old are you? How old are you? I happen to be much older than I look. You wouldn't believe it, but I I'm sure actually... would. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good to see a cute little thing like you all dinged up. <laughs> Have you ever heard anything quite so romantic? Ah, uh, hey! Uh, you gonna be around tomorrow? I don't know. time to think things over. I'll bet he's as upset and overwrought as I am. He doesn't look so overwrought to me. <laughs> That's because you're not in love with him. When you're in love, you see things differently. You sure do. But I still don't see where I figure in all this. Simple. You are a dire emergency. Obviously, I can't just walk up to him and offer him a second chance. Why not? I do it all the time. <laughs> Can I help it if my very best friend insists on coming to the beach and makes me come with her? What can I do? I'm warning you, if I start to blister, the next thing you know, I'll vomit and... You want to just put your stuff on. <sighs> now, the idea is we go sit on the beach near him, but not too close. And then I'll be very big about this whole thing. Give him every opportunity to come up and talk and gradually make up with me. <laughs> Fortunately for him, I'm not the petty type. Yeah, you me, you want to have your cake and eat it, too. Not at all, LaRue. It's pure, unadulterated logic. Sure. <laughs> Here, all we have to do is find a spot where you can't miss seeing us. <laughs> That's not going to be a problem. <laughs> come on, let's catch him off his guard. Surprise him. You in there? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Okay, group. We can start blasting off now. The uh, Panther's here. Hey, he's cute. <laughs> yeah, where did you find him, Gidge? Well, what gives? What do you say, Panth? Shall we mingle, mingle, mingle? Mingle, mingle. <laughs> What's that? Circulate, circulate. Oh, no. Mingle, mingle, mingle. Hi, Siddo. When'd you meet him? Jeff know about him? Jeff? Jeff, implicit faith and trust, Jeff? Oh, that Jeff. Yeah, you giving up Princeton? No, but no reason I can't have fun with anybody else, is there? No. Right here, I'd like to say the rest of the evening was a smashing success. I'd like to. I'd also like to be Miss America, the first woman on the moon. And if I had it to do all over again, an only child. Because back in her apartment, Anne wasn't exactly cornering the market on implicit faith and trust as far as John was concerned. Anne decided John needed protection from my friends. And Dad, after he called Anne and there was no answer, wasn't quite ready to make a testimonial about how much implicit faith and trust he had in her. <laughs> and Dad decided we all needed protection from Anne.
Let's not ask questions, no. Well, sure, but remember, like Panther. Oh, yeah, like, uh, Panther. <laughs> <laughs> any time, does he? Who? Panther. He asked if I kiss on a first date. Oh, you can't blame a guy for asking. Before he asks your name. First, ask him their names. Hi there. Uh, what's your name? I'm, a uh, Treasure. Hey, that's a very direct approach. I am a treasure. <laughs> yeah. What's with that character? Do I like to go to drive-ins? Say, hey, Gidget, you tell that Crumb Shirley's my girl, and she only goes looking at views with me. Right off the bat, he asked me. G Grunion, honey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Where's the action? Over there. Oh, thanks. Hey, honey, stay away from the one they call Panther. I never should have let him out of his cage. <laughs> Follow that scream. I think we should call the police. The police? Well, isn't that what you're supposed to do with a peeping Tom? Peeping Tom? We found him spying on us from the bushes. Yeah, how about that, an old man like him? Frankly, <laughs> Russ, I'm surprised at you. Surprised at him? Huh. Some field trip. You meant playing the field. Hold it. That's my dad. Let him go. And that's my husband. Let me out. <laughs>